Assalamualaikum. Hi guys, my name is Farah Nadira. So, um, welcome to my vlog channel. Um, so this is a platform where I'll be talking about beauty, skincare, lifestyle, fashion, and well, anything that comes up my mind basically. So it's where I share about little bits and bobs of my life with you. So. Firstly, today I'm going to talk about my skincare routine, which um, I have been getting quite an amount of questions from um, people who follow me on Instagram, which you should follow me by the way. I'll link it down below. Um, so yeah, um, I'll be doing it in a way where I, ans uh, I answer the most commonly asked questions by you guys and yeah, we'll go about it from there. So yeah, here we go. So I'm sorry if the I'm moving too much because I'm really not used to vlogging yet and this camera is pretty new to me. So yeah, uh, don't keep me up for it, okay? I'm really trying here. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So here we go. Okay, so here I have like a box of my skincare products. Um, this is actually the things that I have been using and that I most frequently reach out to. Okay, so the first question that I most often get is um, what is my skin type? I'm actually um, a combination skin but more towards the oilier side. I have pretty pretty oily nose, especially on the sides of my nose and I do get dry patches around my mouth and uh, at the tip of my nose and sometimes at my along, along my hairline, especially near my sideburns. Okay, and then the second question that I get is if I have ever had or experienced acne in my entire life. Well, the truth is I have and I suffered with severe acne for the past seven years of my life which um, it has only recently subsided and alhamdulillah for that. So basically I was really struggling with acne for the most part of my life and I wouldn't leave the house without my trusty concealer and but a lot of people were under the impression that I had perfectly flawless skin which I was far from. Um, but alhamdulillah, I had a way of uh, hiding my imperfections away. It wasn't like I was embarrassed by it or anything. It was just like for the sake of my conscience, you know. It's not that I have to explain myself myself or anything. But, um, it wasn't like it's a bad thing or anything. It was just that my skin condition at that point of time really made me feel very conscious of my skin. And I felt like I was ugly and you know, it's the, the norm basically when you have acne you would feel like it's the end of the world when it's not actually. But I realized over the years that I think come the fourth year I started accepting it and embracing my flaws more and it wasn't like something that I was embarrassed about or upset about anymore. Instead I just took it as it is and I embraced the difficulties as well as the beauty that came with it which meant that I could try more skincare products if I had like acne prone skin because I was so tempted to try everything and anything that was out there so then um, uh, I used products from drugstore to high-end products I even went for facials and um, I went for like I went to like New York Skin Solution to help me with my skin but it didn't really do my skin any justice because I think the problem was that I didn't understand what my skin wanted and I didn't know what it wanted and I didn't know what it needed either and I thought I knew because I thought that you know by using acne targeted products it would help my skin more when actually it was actually making it a lot worse and um, the thing about acne targeted products is that it dries out your skin like so much and it's something that we think is good when we are very very acne prone when truth is the more like for me at least and I mean I can vouch for it because I've been doing it for the past few months and it's been working is that um, when I get acne it's better to moisturize it and like 
give it more TLC rather than to, you know, like uh, force dryness into it or all the gunk to come out when actually I'm just supposed to like belay, give it kasih sayang, and that's it. So yeah, and um, I learned it the hard way, I guess, because it took me seven years to get to where I am. I wouldn't say my skin is perfect now. It's far from being flawless because, I mean, I think you can see because this camera pretty much, it's a good thing because it doesn't bear out imperfections or, imperfections or anything and you can actually still see my scars and stuff. But I mean, that's what I want to portray in this channel, which is to be like more... Um, up close and personal with you and show you the reality of life and I'm not really a makeup wearer I'm wearing makeup just for the sake of this video for the most part I just put on a BB cushion to my eyebrows and lip balm and I wear blusher and that's it well that's makeup of course but I mean I don't doll myself up by putting um, mascara and all that because I'm too lazy to remove it for solid so yeah so now I uh, will be moving on to the third question and the final question which is what is your skincare routine? My skincare routine has evolved tremendously and I would say that I changed my skincare routine a lot. I get sucked into buying products and I would say like before this I was more towards buying clothes. Like my money, half of my money would be spent on buying clothes but now I would say like I am more of a skincare geek. Maybe because I know what my skin wants and I'm more intrigued by ingredients and I'm more intrigued by um, when I see like, you know, anything to do with brightening, moisturizing and things like that. Game, I mean, take my money, take it all and I would just be, um, I would be there and I would buy it. So, um, I would say my skin, because Previously, earlier this year, I think I posted on my Insta story of my skincare routine and well, it didn't stick around because well, it's me and I don't, I get bored of one thing really easily and I think some of these products that I'll be mentioning now will be, will not be used anymore the next time but products like my holy grail will always remain no matter what. So I guess the one brand that stuck with me from the days where I had really really bad acne until today would be Kiehl's and I would say that Kiehl's has been um, a huge part of my skincare routine and in some way shape or form I do believe that um, there are products from Kiehl's that have really really helped me but I wouldn't say that it was what cleared up my skin the most. Um, by the way, I'll just um, show you pictures of the transition of my skin from when it was really bad. But I only got to take pictures um, last year and yeah, but it was a progression in a span of a few months and I can see, I mean, I think you can see it for yourself too, like how much of a difference my skin has been throughout those months. So, so um, I would say the life-changing product, which is my holy grail now, and something that I would never, I would try not to um, exclude in my skincare regime would be the COSRX um, Snail Advanced Snail Mucin Serum. That the COSRX Advanced Snail Mucin would be my holy grail because I feel that um, I think after three or four uses, I use it day and night uh, after my toner, and I feel like it really, really um, cleared up my skin a lot. It didn't clear up my uh, scarring or pigmentation but it really cleared up the acne like the chunk of it it stopped my acne from appearing basically and I would say that I actually to be honest I stopped using it for like three weeks uh, as of three days ago but and because I was like nah I don't think I need this anymore you know blaga sometimes it happens but then um I stopped using it and then pimples start to appear on my nose like magically appear but it did and I thought to myself okay like, I cannot stop this because this is my holy grail who am, I, who am I kidding you I need this in my life and then I realized that it's actually because it was giving me the hydration that it need that my skin needed and then I realized that was actually the turning point for me because I realized that all my skin actually needed was actually hydration because before this, I thought that because every time I went from counter to counter, um, asking them for ask, asking beauticians about uh, skincare advices and stuff, 
all they would say to me is that um, you know you should use this acne product this acne product that when actually all I needed was hydration and like deep deep hydration and I felt that my skin barrier was my moisture barrier was really really bad and because I don't drink water that much I mean I only recently just started drinking at least two to three liters liters two to three liters of water a day so um that's not really good but yeah and I started taking vitamin C every day and multivitamins because age factor and all that so yeah so um yeah so that would be my holy grail and that would be the, the product that I would say is a life-changing product and it's also now my holy grail I pretty much I mean I can say that I think it's safe to say that that would be the only product that you would see consistent in all my skincare routines after this. Okay, I don't want to bite my tongue, but that's what I feel. Okay, that's we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so I would start off um, in the mornings. I would just cleanse, tone, uh, cleanse, tone, um, put on my serum and then moisturize and then SPF. But during night, I would actually use an oil cleanser, which is a simple cleansing oil. I would, I have to tell you that cleansing your face, even if you don't wear makeup, even if you just go out with normal like SPF or just like powder, a little bit of powder, pat here and there or something like that, you need to cleanse your face with a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm. But just cleansing your face, not using micellar water and uh, a, to a cotton pad, cleansing oil is so 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 pertinent to your skincare routine because without it i realized that my my skin would feel really really clogged and like i can feel like this gunk of like this layer of gunk on my skin which isn't good so i would always cleanse my face with the cleansing oil first and then i would wipe it off with a cloth and then i would use my kills calendula cleanser which i am running out of but I feel that I'm going to change because I feel like it's a little bit drying for me now. Because I can feel like it, I feel the tightness on my skin after I wash my face and that's not a good sign. But it wasn't like this before this, just recently though, but okay anyway. Then I would tone my face with the um, Dr. Jart um, Vital Hydra Solution. And um, it's actually an essence, but I use it um, as a... Um, I use it as a um, then I would uh, tone my face with the Dr. Jart Vital Hydra Solution Essence um, which works as a toner for me because I feel like it really uh, moisturizes gives that surge of moisture on my skin after I've cleansed it and I would um, feel really like my pores would feel like it's close or at least that's what I feel, but it works. And for the price, I think it's really worth the money because I feel like it really makes a difference. Before this, I was using the um, Claire's uh, Supple Skin Solution Toner and it gave me the hydration that I needed, but I feel like the Dr. Jartman gave it the extra boost that I wanted. So yeah, and then I would use my uh, CosRx. I'll pat my skin dry after the toner and then like leave it on for like a minute or two. And then I'll follow up with uh, two pumps of the CosRx um, Advanced Illmucin Solution um, Essence and with two pumps of my uh, the, um, Drunk Elephant C Firm uh, Serum, which is actually a vitamin C serum. But I love it, like I bloody love it because it is so good and I've seen like a huge difference on my skin in terms of texture, in terms of um, its youthfulness and glowiness, especially the plumpness of my skin when I wake up after using it. And I started feeling a difference like um, two or three, after two or three days of using it, I use it morning and night as well. Uh, but it's crucial for you to use uh, an SPF after you use vitamin C because um, the vitamin C actually really helps uh, boost the SPF, the use of the SPF on your skin. And then um, I would use my uh, Crave Beauty um, Crave Beauty Great Barrier Relief Serum. I use that as my moisturizer actually because 
it works and I love it like it is so good because it hydrates my skin but it doesn't make my skin feel like there's this what's the word for it like this salamoy feeling you know I don't know if you know what salamoy is but it's like this tacky feeling on your skin I don't feel that and I love it like I'm very particular about my moisturizer on my entire body and it is imperative that my moisturizer doesn't give me that sticky feeling and this one really doesn't do that uh, but then when you layer up skincare of course you feel somewhat sticky but the moisturizer isn't the one that's causing it so yeah and the, the great barrier relief um, uh, serum actually really helps with lightening up my um, discoloration and pigmentation as well because and I, so I feel that like it works really well with the drunk elephant C Firma serum. It goes hand in well to get hand in well hand in hand together. So then after that I'll follow up with the Dr. Jart um, every every sun every Sunday fluid, which is um, SPF fifty. And I feel like of among all the SPF that I've ever used, sunblock that I've ever used in my life. This one is by far the best because I can see that when I take photos, like especially selfies or um, selfies with um, flash, I don't have that white cast over my face, which I feel like the Kiehl's one, which I used for years, gave me that slight feeling like white overcast on my face, which I didn't really like. But this doesn't give it that kind of feeling. It actually feels like a moisturizer, which is, which is the best part. And because the, the texture is quite fluid, so... It's very smooth to put on your skin and it glides on really well. So yeah, and the reason, oh by the way, before that... Oh, and one more thing. The reason why I use um, the um, C Firma Serum with the um, COSRX Advanced Snail Mucin, Snail Mucin Solution is because it um, it doesn't really apply well on your skin because the texture is quite oily and I only use two pumps of it because it's really expensive and I don't want to waste it but um, because it's really hard it doesn't really glide well on your skin so I need to put uh, some form of hydration something liquidy to apply it on and because I needed to use my essence so I thought why not like just put it together because if I were to use it with the Great Barrier Relief um, create from Crave Beauty uh, the serum I think I would die because the smell is really bad. So yeah, uh, take note that none of this skincare actually smells good in any way, shape or form. But it's skincare and I think after a week of using it, I got prone to the smell and I don't smell it anymore. But maybe if someone were to walk beside me, then maybe they would smell it, I don't know, but it's okay. And then, um, yeah, so that's my skincare routine. That's what I use on a daily basis. But if I ever were to have like uh, spots, Something, you know, um, spots that are about to come up, but they're just hiding underneath your skin. I would use none other than my holy grail as well, which is um, the pseudo cream, which is actually a nappy rash cream. And I never thought I would ever use that in any of my skincare routine, but it turns out it was something that was much needed in my life. It really soothes my skin and doesn't irritate my skin at all and it doesn't dry out my skin in fact it actually moisturizes it more because I only do it as a spot treatment when I have like spots that don't want to come out um, but when it's really bad then I would use my uh, oxy pimple patch which I also happen to leave the house with and I have backups of it like a lot of it at home and I would actually cut it and put it in my makeup pouch when I, whenever I go out because after I take wudu or anything, I would just stick it back on because yes, that's life and people wear pimple patches when they go out. So yeah, that's my skincare routine for you. Um, I know I when I pulled up the box just now, it says if I have a lot, but I don't use half of what's there actually. Maybe I would like insert it like once in a while when I want to. But for the most part, at this point of time, I have been really strict with my skincare and I've only been using these few items that I've mentioned every day without fail. So we'll see how my skin goes about um, for the next few months if I can actually be more disciplined with what I'm using now. But if there were to be any update or anything, then I will let you know. So thank you so much. I hope this video has been very informative and fun for you to watch. Do let me know what you what you think of 
this video and do leave a comment or something and don't forget to subscribe like and help me grow my channel and tell me if you want me to do any review or on anything or whatever it is that you want me to talk about uh, oh and guys uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button if you like this video and if you find it informative and i would see you in my next vid video so do leave requests on the things that you want to ask me or you want my advice on or things like that that's all thank you bye